Hey Algebra students, today we're going to talk about dividing complex numbers. We're going to solve problems like this. Negative 13 plus 18i divided by 4 plus i. Okay? But before we get going on this, we actually have to look at something else first. We have to look at the idea of complex conjugates. Okay? So here's what a, uh, what a complex conjugate is. Here's a complex number, 2 plus i, right? The conjugate of 2 plus i is 2 minus i. The conjugate of negative 3 minus 2i is negative 3 plus 2i. The conjugate of 1 plus 8i is 1 minus 8i. Okay, so you get the idea. The real part always stays the same, and the imaginary part changes signs. Now, what's so special about this? Well, what's so special is if I multiply this, let's go ahead and multiply it. 2 times 2 is 4. Uh, 2 times negative i is minus 2i, 2 times positive i is uh, plus 2i, and i times i squared is, n sorry, i times negative i i, i times negative i, there we go, is negative i squared. And as I know, uh, first off, the middle two terms, those just, uh, you add those up, you get zero, so they take care of each other. And this, negative i squared is plus 1. So I end up with 4 plus 1 which is 5. Okay. Uh, let's look at this. Uh, negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. Negative 3 times positive 2i is minus 6i. Negative 2i times negative 3 is plus 6i. And negative 2i times positive 2i is minus 4i squared, which we know since i squared is negative 1, this just equals positive 4. These, again, negative 6i plus 6i just equals 0, so that's gone. And we end up with 9 plus 4 is 13. You'll notice in both of these cases, we ended up with a real number. There's no imaginary part to it. That's what's cool about complex conjugates. You take an imaginary number, I, mean, I mean, you take a complex number with an imaginary component, and you multiply it times its conjugate, and it comes out real. Let's take a look at another one. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times negative 8i is minus 8i. 8i times 1 is plus 8i, and I already see that those are going to eliminate each other. Uh, positive 8i times negative 8i is minus 64i squared, which I know means minus 64 times negative 1, which is actually plus 64. And I get 1 plus 64, which is 65. And here I have 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 3i is plus 12i. Negative 3i times 4 is minus 12i. Negative 3i times positive 3i is minus 9i squared. And again, the middle terms uh, are just additive inverses of each other, so they add up to 0. And 16 minus 9i squared is just like saying 16 plus 9, which is 25. Okay, last problem we're going to look at like this. This is the general problem. a times a is a squared. a times negative bi is minus a e a b i. b i times a is plus a b i. b i times negative b i is minus b squared i squared. But since i squared is negative 1, this makes this plus b squared. And since these add up to 0, I can just get rid of those. And what I end up with is uh, a squared plus b squared. This turns out to be a pretty nice little formula. So when I multiply a complex conjugate, well, a complex number times its conjugate, I end up with a real number that is just a squared plus b squared. So now let's use this to do the problem that we set out to do. This negative 13 plus 18i divided by 4 plus i. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. So I'm going to multiply this times 4 minus i and this times 4 minus i. Okay. Now in the numerator, I'm just going to have to multiply this out. I'm going to use the FOIL method. Uh, negative 13 times 4 is negative 52. Negative 13 times negative i is plus 13i. Uh, uh, 18i times 4 
gets me, I believe that is 72i, and 18i times negative i is minus 18i squared, okay? There's my numerator, and my denominator, remember this is a uh, number of times it's conjugate. I'm just going to go ahead and multiply it out right now, even though you know that the middle two terms are going to cancel out. Uh, 4 times 4 is 16. That's minus 4i, and then plus 4i. Sure enough, they're adding up to 0. Minus i squared. So I end up with, get rid of that, 16. Remember, minus i squared is just like saying plus 1. 16 plus 1, which is... 17. Now I could have used my formula from before. Remember this formula? a plus bi times a minus bi is a squared plus b squared. I could have used that here because a was 4 and b was 1. So I could have just said, well that's 4 squared which is 16 plus 1 squared which is 1 and 16 plus 1 is 17. If I'm gonna be a, if I'm gonna be a hot shot, I'll probably do it that way. But for now, uh, let's simplify this numerator. Uh, minus 18i squared, that's just like saying plus 18. And uh, so now I have negative 52 plus 18, which is negative 34. And I have 13i plus 72i, which is 85i. And this turns out to be negative 34 over 17 is just negative 2, and 85i over 17 is just 5i. So I end up with the answer uh, negative 2 plus 5i. Now, is this right? Is negative 13 plus 18i divided by 4 plus i equal to negative 2 plus 5i? Well, if that's true, then that means uh, negative 2 plus 5i times 4 plus i, that times that, must equal that. Let's just check it and make sure. Okay, so negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Negative 2 times i is minus 2i. 5i times 4 is plus 20i. And uh, 5i times i is plus 5i squared, which we know to be minus 5. So now we have negative 8 minus 5, which is, uh, oops, negative 13. And negative 2i plus 20i, which is 18i. And hey, hey, that is that. And sure enough, it works. Let's do one more. Uh, let's do the problem. How about uh, negative 1 minus 21i divided by 5 plus 3i. Let's find out what that is. And I'm not going to write an equal sign quite yet because what I want to do is I want to multiply whoa, what I want to do is I want to multiply this fraction times 5 minus 3i over 5 minus 3i. Why? Because this is the complex conjugate of that, okay? The real part is the same, the imaginary part changes signs, okay? So, negative 1 times 5 is negative 5. Uh, negative 1 times negative 3i is plus 3i. Negative 21 times 5 is negative 105i. And negative 21i times negative 3i is plus 63i squared over and... Uh, now, I'll deal with that in a second. Uh, 5 times 5 is, well, hold it. Now I'm just going to use my formula. This is complex number times the conjugate of that complex number. So this is going to be 5 squared plus 3 squared. So this is 25 plus 9. I'm starting to get smart. Okay, and this equals, now I'm going to look up here and say 63i squared. That just means minus 63. Negative 5 minus 63 is negative 68. Uh, 3i minus 105i is minus 102i, and I'm not scared of three-digit numbers. And uh, 25 plus 9 is 34. And hey, this is sweet. Negative 68 divided by 34 is just negative 2. And as a matter of fact, 102 divided by 34 is 3, so that means this is minus 3i. And if you multiply negative 2 minus 3i, 
times 5 plus 3i, you will get negative 1 minus 21i. I'm going to leave that up for you to do. But anyway, that's how you multiply, or that's how you divide complex numbers, is by multiplying the, uh, the fraction uh, by the complex conjugate of the denominator. Okay, I hope this helps you, and I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.